Hi there. This video, we're going to look at one single question. It's going to be about a person who's diving on a diving board, flying through the air, and we call these kind of questions falling object word problem type questions. Um, we're going to use the quadratic formula in this case, and I have a video on the quadratic formula which shows you how to memorize it in about 20 seconds. It's just a little expression that you use, and it helps you remember it so that when you get a question like this, and this is a quadratic, it means it's a parabola. We can tell when there's a little 2 right up here where I'm pointing. Um, when you have a quadratic and you have numbers like this, if you have to factor this, it's not so easy because the numbers are like 4.9, 8.8, and they're not so easy to think. What multiplies to make the 3 and adds up to make the 8.8? It's just not that easy. The quadratic formula eliminates that problem. It allows you to get this thing factored, and even if you have numbers that are with decimals like this. Okay, so here we go. We have a diver, and she is diving on a springboard, and the diver's height above the water is h, so the h has to do with the height in meters. In Canada, we often talk about meters, and uh, t stands for seconds after she leaves the springboard, okay? So it's going to be a question that will, it'll be a parabola, and it's going to be a situation where she's jumping and then going into the water. Splash! That should really be blue right here, but she splashes right here. Now this is a parabola, and parabolas usually don't just stop right here, they usually continue on. In math, it's a parabola, and it has they often have two x-intercepts, or what we call zeros. And in a real-life situation like this, yeah, we might get two answers in math with regards to this x-intercept, but only one of these answers is going to make sense in real life, because in real life, the time starts at zero, and she jumps and then lands right about here. So we're really concerned with what this x-intercept, or this zero, is. And that's what we're about to find out. Okay, so I'm going to erase this uh, little drawing of mine here, and let's start by factoring this thing. We're going to use the quadratic formula, okay? The quadratic formula tells us that it'll find what h is. Um, let's see, uh, there once was a negative boy, and this is how we memorize it on my other video. The boy couldn't decide whether to stay or to go to a radical party. The boy was square, so he decided to stay. He didn't go. He missed out on four awesome cookies. And the party was over at 2. A, and we don't use the M, but we can go 2A. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that is the quick little expression, how we could uh, memorize this really quickly. And let's now figure out, this is the A value right here. Over here, the 8.8 is the B value, and 3 is the C value. So let's put them into this formula and come up with our answer that we're looking for. So negative B would mean negative whatever is here. So if this 8.8 .8 had been negative, we would have made it positive right here. It's positive 8.8, .8, so we're going to put the negative sign in front, 8.8, .8, okay, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 8.8 .8 squared, hopefully I can fit all this in here, minus 4 times a, which is negative 4.9, I'm going to squeeze it in here hopefully, and c is 3, okay, and then underneath that the party was over at 2a, mm -hmm. so 2a, negative 4.9 once again right there. Okay, so we've filled in this quadratic formula with all the numbers, okay? And at this point, really all we have to do, we have to make sure we're able to uh, punch this into our calculator at this point really well, okay? And to save time, um, I have gone ahead on my calculator and what I did is I went 8.8 .8 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9 times 3. And I multiplied that all out and then subtracted this. And then I took the square root of that answer 
And I got this as an answer. So it's plus or minus, and I want you to verify this on your own calculator right now. So you can push pause and see if you can get 11.69. If you were to do all of this and then take the square root of that answer, see if you get 11.69. On the bottom, we know that 2 times negative 4.9 is going to be a negative number. It's negative 9.8. Okay, and now if you go on your calculator and if you uh, multiply this out, and I encourage you to see my video on the quadratic formula because I'm kind of whipping through this kind of quickly and I don't mean to confuse you. I just can't talk about everything in detail because then this video takes forever. And so it's better for you to go look at the video on uh, how to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on. This question, if you go negative 8.8 .8 plus 11.69, take that answer and divide by negative 9.8, okay? And then you do the opposite. You go negative 8.8 .8 minus, because it says plus or minus here, if you subtract 11.69 and then divide by negative 9.8, you're going to come up with two answers. And you can try that right now on your calculator, but here are the two answers that I got. And I'm just rounding them off. One of the answers was negative 0 0.29. And the other answer, the other answer that I got, I know that arrow, it's not a mathematical thing you need, but I'm just writing it there for some reason. The other answer I got was 2 point, I'll round it off to two decimals, 2.09. I think it was 2.089 or something. But as you can see, we got two answers. And remember that little parabola we had before? It looked something like that. Well, one of the answers was negative, the negative 0 0.29. The other answer you get is positive, which is 2.09. By the way, that's 2.09 seconds. And that was the answer we were really looking for. That is the point in time that she hits the water. Okay, So she splashes down at 2.09 seconds. All right. Now, if you go to uh, a website like Desmos, if you go to a website like Desmos, and if you punch in this equation right here, this exact equation, here is what you will get. Okay? And I've filled it all in here, and I did it for speed's sake, just so you could not have to wait forever to see this on a video. And look at that. I punched it in. Here was the negative, two point, or negative 0 0.29, and over here is the 2.089 right here. And yeah, it Obviously, it looks kind of silly the way I have this zoomed in. I mean, not many divers will jump that high up and come down. We could have stretched this out, but this is our parabola, and we verified here that we actually got the right answer using the quadratic formula. So one of the answers makes sense, and at this point, you would write a sentence right here, and the sentence would say this. The diver, oh, how long is it until she reaches the water? It takes her 2.09 seconds to reach the water. Something like that. And then you're good to go. And that is how you solve a question like this using the quadratic formula with a real life situation where you get two answers and you only pick the positive one because that's the only one that makes sense in this real life situation. We can't go backwards in time, so we don't need this answer here. I hope that helps you out. Um, like I said, watch those other videos in case you're confused by how to use the quadratic formula. Have a great day, everyone.